HIV AIDS is a global pandemic, but thanks to decades of scientific research, achieving an AIDS-free generation is not only possible, but imminent. Our blood contains trillions of cells. In a healthy individual, white blood cells number in the billions. They comprise our immune system. But in a person infected by HIV, the immune system itself is under attack. The surface of this white blood cell is covered in HIV virions. Before this cell dies, it will produce thousands of viral clones. The clones will infect and destroy other immune cells and eventually cause AIDS. HIV even wraps itself in a piece of the host cell as it bursts from within. On the surface of this virion, spike proteins are poised to penetrate another immune cell. Under the surface, a jumble of molecular machinery awaits release. HIV is incredibly efficient. This entire virion is made from multiple copies of just a handful of mature viral proteins. These viral proteins are the targets of antiretroviral therapy. Today, more than 30 drugs are used to fight HIV, with more in the pipeline. We need the variety. Through random mutations, HIV can evolve to become drug resistant. Here, the shape of the mutant protein has changed just enough so that the drug can no longer bind. Patients must take combinations of drugs, a cocktail, to minimize the chance of developing drug-resistant HIV. Largely because of scaled-up antiretroviral therapy, the number of people dying from AIDS-related causes is declining and we are closing in on a cure.